What's up, everyone? How's it going? It's John here from Gateway Breaks. Here to go ahead and talk about our Hot List Insider blog number 31. Today, we're going to go ahead and talk about one New York Islander prospect and one Chicago White Sox prospect. So we'll go ahead and start off with hockey like we always do. And we're going to go ahead and start off with someone that is on a lot of people's radar, and that is Josh Hosang. There we go. Now, he was the 2014 number 28 pick overall. Um, a lot of scouts thought that he might have actually gone a little higher, but there's a reason for that, and we'll get to that in a second. He's an offensively gifted uh, forward who can go ahead and has ease with the puck and can go ahead and see the ice very well. He needs to work on his overall game. He needs to be able to go ahead and work on the defensive side of the puck and also just worry about the middle ice, too. Um the reason that a lot of people think that he dropped so much in the draft is that he's an emotional player, and sometimes he lets the emotions get the best of him. Um, some of the comments that he's made over the last couple of years in the AHL and the NHL have kind of labeled him more of a troublemaker, which could be a problem. Uh, it could be a precursor to him not being a team player, things like that. So a lot of people are concerned about that. And there still is a lot of intrigue about this man. Um, there's still a lot of people that go ahead and think that he could be something. And by the offensive skills, yes, he can be. I think it, it definitely. Um, the one thing I think they need to really worry about is just making sure that he is on board with team philosophies and understanding what's going on with it. Uh, right now, this card is anywhere between 2 to $3 between eBay and ComC. I could see it going between the 15 to $20 level once he goes ahead and hits his potential. But that's a big if. Um you just need to make sure that he can't stay disciplined enough to the point that he's playing in the NHL. If he does that, it could even surpass the $15, $20 level. It's just I'm being very conservative about it just because of what uh, I've heard about um, his attitude towards the game. So he's someone to keep an eye on for his skills, but he's also someone to keep an eye on because of his overall personality. Um, as far as baseball go, where it goes, we're going to go to a Chicago White Sox prospect, even though he's in a Tampa Bay Rays uniform. This is Casey Gillespie. If I can get my camera to focus here. Now, Casey Gillespie is all about uh, basically one thing, and that's power. Um, he can go ahead and consistently put his bat in the same plane and have pretty good consistent contact with the ball. Um, excuse me. He does have very good power. Um, most of it comes from the left side of the plate because he is a switch hitter. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't go ahead and hit the ball right-handed. Just more of his power does come from the left side. Um, a lot of people like to go ahead and look at him as being a first base prospect just because he does not run very well and he doesn't have much of a range. Or he could be a DH, which works well in the AL because they do have that spot too. So he's still definitely a work in progress, uh, but I think he could go ahead and be someone that could make an uh, impactful uh, offensive presence in the majors. Right now, this card, I've seen it go as low as 99 cents for this autograph on eBay. Um, I would say it's probably right now between a 2 to $3 range. Uh, he has slipped a little bit over the last couple of years in a lot of the scouts um, rankings, but still for two to three dollars, I wouldn't mind picking a few of these up. If that card gets to you know ten, fifteen dollars, you're still making five times your investment on what you put into it, and I think that is definitely possible if he makes it to the majors. He might not be an everyday power hitting first baseman, but he could go ahead and definitely make an impact for the the big leagues. So I uh, keep an eye out for this guy too. So just to recap, we went ahead and we had Josh Hosang for the New York Islanders. And we had Casey Gillespie for the Chicago White Sox. So those are our two prospects for today. And we'll get you two more tomorrow. Remember, subscribe so you know when we go live. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or you want to see someone that you want to talk about, let us know and we'll try to get them in on our, our blog. So until tomorrow, see ya.